Welcome everybody to Broker Connect. We got people trickling in here, connecting to audio. I'm just gonna give everyone a minute to to get seen. Yeah. 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 We got JP on the 18th hole. 17th. I got one hole left. 17th. I'm putting you on I'm putting you on mute for the next couple of minutes. Hop off <laughs> your name. Yo, what's up? J Street Krishna. All right. So we got a good group in here. So I want to formally welcome everybody to Broker Connect. My name is Vincent O'Brien. I'm so glad you could all join us today. For those of you that don't know, this is Broker Connect. This is an interactive uh, bi-weekly meeting with top brokers and Arrive users. Uh, the goal of this call is to learn best practices, get insight into how other brokers are using the system, and just get a ton of tips uh, on, on how to. So I'm here today with two awesome guests. I've got JP Hussey and Rocky Belor. They are here to spread wisdom and uh, just share what they know. So I hope people have questions. I hope you come with a lot of questions. Um, we're so excited to have them on. But before we open up the floor, hear about them and open the floor to your questions, I just have a few pieces of business I want to take care of. Uh, so for those who don't know, we offer a ton of weekly training opportunities. They're all completely free. Um, they're resources that we invest for you guys to, to be able to get the most out of Arrive. Um, we have onboarding sessions. Uh, those onboarding sessions, all of this can be found at Arrive.com at our events page. Um, so we have onboarding sessions every Tuesday at 2.30 p.m. Eastern time uh, for admins. And for any user uh, that just wants help with their user settings, we have it at Monday at 2.30. So um, two onboarding sessions. The Monday session takes you through your user settings, uh, configuring your account uh, to get the most out of it. And then on Tuesday, for company admins, it takes you through the company settings, how to configure your account, how to set up those guardrails. We've launched so many new features this year uh, around automation rules, um, custom fields. There's a lot that you can do to really make Arrive your unique experience. Um, so those onboarding sessions teach you how to get the most out of configuring your account. And then three days a week, we have our live Q&A sessions. So Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, we host Arrive live Q&A. Um, I actually host the Tuesday session, so feel free to hop in. Uh, we've got uh, just a, it's like this, but instead of brokers answering your questions, it's the Arrive team answering your questions. So you can come in anytime, ask those questions, uh, and we'll share our screen. We'll show you how it's done. So that's Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday at one o'clock Eastern time. And then we also have new user training. So if you're in the system already and you've been in the system, that's great. This is probably the best place for you to can continue to expand your knowledge. New user training, if you're new to Arrive, it's, it's the best place to just get A to Z, how to write alone in Arrive, right? So it's a two-part session. We broke it up. So the first 60 minutes take place Wednesday at 1 o'clock Eastern time. And we'll take you basically all the way through taking an application, the borrower experience, collecting documents, reviewing the application, pricing engine, reviewing fees. And then in part two, we basically take you from registration, AUS, all the way through funding. So what the loan process looks like, uh, managing conditions, managing your trackers, uh, registering the loan electronically with our lenders. Uh, so it's like app training at one, and then at three o'clock Eastern time, there's loan training. Uh, and all of these events can be found at arrive.com slash events. We also on Wednesdays have a processor specific training. So if you have processors uh, that are new to arrive, you can send them to our processor training. Then we have this, like I said, this is every other week on Fridays when we don't have Broker Connect. Uh, the other Fridays we have Arrive University. Our CEO Harish hops on, takes us through all of Arrive's newest features, uh, shows you what we're bringing, uh, what we're updating the system with. Really valuable sessions. Again, if you're trying to continue your education, um, that's where you can learn how we're leveling up Arrive and we're leveling up your experience. Um, all right. That was so much. That was a mouthful. Mm -hmm. Just go to arrive.com slash events and register for everything. How about that? Let's get into why we're here. This is Broker Connect. Uh, we've got two awesome hosts. So I want to open it up to them. 
Uh, Rocky, why don't you go first? Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, my name is Rocky Ballore. I'm the owner of uh, Rockwood Mortgage out of Birmingham, Michigan. Uh, I got into the business around 04. I first started working uh, for Quicken Loans, where a lot of Michigan people, you know, cut their teeth and learn the grind and uh, very quickly realized that was not, you know, my favorite cup of tea that I wanted to be drinking. So, um, you know, got out of that and into uh, commercial because I was on a non-compete that I didn't realize at that young age that they could not enforce. And, uh, you know, after that three-year non-compete wore out, I got back into residential as well uh, on top of commercial, so. Awesome, yeah. cool. Um, all right, JP, um, as soon as you get out of this bunker, I'd love to hear a little bit about your business and your practice. That looked good. I didn't see where the ball ended up, but that looked good, looked clean. You're on mute, JP. All right, what's up, guys? Sorry, the uh, I'm on the 18th hole right now of a round I was playing, and Kelly over arrived asked me to talk, and I said yes. But the theme of uh, why I'm doing this right now, and I took this, is because I've been doing this 15 years. I own my own broker shop, right? And um, I can be out and about doing whatever I want and still be efficient and do what I have to do on the run. That's the biggest thing that's changed my life, all right? So anyway, J.P. Hussey, owner of the Hussey Team Mortgage Advisors right outside Philadelphia. Rocky's one of my my good friends, JSK Rocky. JSK. Um, JSK, baby. And um, been doing this 15 years. I'm going to hit a shot here in a minute. Then I'm going to get back to this, and I'm going to go sit over here. I'm going to answer everybody's questions here. You can watch me hit real quick. This is fun. Why not? That's a unique twist. This is a broker connect first from the links. We're in a big match, guys. Yeah, it's, it's and then I'm gonna about, I'm gonna send a pre-approval right after I hit this shot from my phone. That's the whole point. We love that. He's gonna from the golf cart. He's gonna fire off a pre-approval letter after this. Uh, well, thank you both, you guys, for joining. Uh, I want to take this time and just open it up to the room. Uh, anybody that has questions, uh, please ask away. Like Harish said in the chat, please feel free to just drop questions in the chat if you're shy. But um, I want this to be a dialogue. So if you're comfortable coming off mute, uh, you can hop off and. You know, it's first come, first serve. So uh, who wants to start right. us off with some questions? All right. I'll go first, man. You know, this is Potty. You know, I just joined uh, District Lending. Uh, so Arrive is pretty new to me. You know, they're right down the street, though. You know, maybe I should say hi to Harish, you know, have an Indian awesome. coffee or something, you know. <laughs> yeah. so, hey, baby. Get a chai. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. So I, I'm just getting used to this. And one of the things that I was running into was, you know, uh, when I wanted to send a, a fee sheet to a borrower, you know, it wouldn't take the lender, uh, sorry, the origination fee, you know, so how do I generate that? So I, I can let these guys talk about their quoting experience, but you're talking about like the points or the credit associated with the rate? And you want that on the quote? Borrower paid compensation, yeah. Sure. Yeah, I mean, Rocky or JP, if you guys want to talk a little bit about how you're setting your quotes oh, up. Not from me. Oh. Otherwise, I'm happy to uh, add some context as well. Rocky, jump in on this one. I'm about done. Then I can hop in and do everything. For a while. Let's pick it up. Rocky just went camera off. Well, I can answer that for you. So when you're in the pricing engine, you know, you're going to have the whole rate stacks. So you can click on the rate. Uh, and it'll drop down all the rate selections. And next to the rate, it'll tell you, yes. you know, the cost of that rate or the credit. Um, and when you select that rate and you go into the quote, it should be like the third option down. Uh, it'll tell you if there's points or a credit. And what you can do on that quote is you can also add a fee sheet to it. You'll see a checkbox on the left-hand side of your screen to include fees. Uh, and that'll add a second page oh. to your quote with all of the fees, including the registration charge. And you can fully add it from there. Yeah, it, it pulled all the uh, pricing except, you know, the borrower paid compensation. It should be, it should be on there. It should be pulling through exactly however you priced it. Pari, if you want, just send me an email. We can jump on a Zoom together and I can, I can walk you through how to do it. Yeah, sure. 
Uh, can can you post your uh, email address? Rocky? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Thanks, I'll do Thanks, it right man. now. Yep. Thanks, man. Awesome. And, and this is Harish Tofari. If you are in Bay Area, you're welcome to hang out with us anytime. Our headquarters is right here. So I'm, I'm not sure where you are located. I live right down the street, man. You know, in Danville. Oh, yes. So. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> what took you so long to get on a ride, man? Welcome. Yeah, well, and welcome to the family. Go, go ahead, Vince. And appreciate Rockies again for your time. Uh, Hasi, 18th hole is the best. So I'm, I'm, I'm hoping you did well. And is that, is that right? That's the. Oh, uh, we won. We won oh, the I... match. So I'm good now. I'm sitting down. I can answer anything you want. Well, congratulations. But awesome. thank you for your time. We, we greatly appreciate the partnership. And thank you for, for, for being on our live platform on, on this call. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. I, I, I want to jump in real quick. So I've been doing it 15 years, right? Um, like I was saying, being able to be more efficient, that's thats what's literally changed my life. I have three kids. I'm running around. I run a company, and I still produce. Um, and it's legitimately changed my how much more time I have, right? Mm -hmm. I was on – I started at Wells Fargo. I mean, nothing was even web-based back in the day. It had to be downloaded onto your computer, right, all the – whatever systems they were. Um, then when I started my own shop in 18 – Arrive wasn't even out yet, right? So we we jumped on Lending Pad. Lending Pad, decent system. It was it was good enough for what a lot better than what I had. And then uh, we were Lending Pad and um, what was the other milestone company that we built in the Lending Pad? Either way, we just flipped to Arrive. We ripped the band aid. We went all in with it. Um, Pre-app 1003? Are you talking about pre-app 1003? I used to use pre-app 1003, but this was um another company. Gotcha. I, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, blanking on the name, but whatever. There were so many companies you needed to band together at the time. You can't even remember all the names. Yep. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My brother one. Nick's on here. He might remember the name, but whatever. If he wants to post it in there. Nikki Hussey's on there. Big win, Nick baby. Big. Big win. So anyway, <laughs> all we did, I mean, it took us maybe – a week to to redo our milestones and and uh and get it moving and it's it's changed our whole company and our whole team and we were nervous about it all i can say is if it's something that if you need more time back if you're using an older system you just got to rip the band-aid and go for it because it's legitimately 40 50 times better than anything that i've been in my career and i got a note i don't get paid to do this i'm on the golf course you know uh not wasting my time, but giving my time to really try and help out other uh, brokers and loan officers to do this, right? So, like, it's legit. I'll be straight up. Even though Harish is here, I'll tell you the stuff that's not good and that they got to work on, too, you know? Um, but it's the best thing that I have encountered over 15 years. I've, I've got my time back. That's the biggest thing with loan officers. You need more time, right? And that's what, what – it, it's given me the time to be able to spend with my team – and my clients to really advise them better. That's where you, that's where you want to get your time back. I completely agree. Like uh, we were one of the first 10 shops on arrive during the beta. This is a while ago. And uh, you know, the amount of changes that have taken place from inception till now, it's all because Harish and the team is willing to take those suggestions and, you know, bring it into fruition and that's the biggest thing i i mean think about all the complaints we had about you know uh point they didn't care they'd probably see our emails and erase them right away back in the day and it's still the same damn point system till this day mm. it's never going to change but with harish you can reach out to kelly harish i mean anybody there at the team and they're going to be willing to listen and also make those changes if it makes sense for the for the whole system so mm -hmm. awesome we have a question in the chat um if anyone wanted to try to take it and nathan also just plugged our feedback email so speaking of our open-minded team you know harish and kelly and, and everyone on the team is always open to feedback we even have a feedback team internally uh and a feedback email so if you email feedback at arrive.com and you say you know why doesn't Arrive do this? Or I think Arrive should do that. Uh, that goes directly to Nathan and team. They review it. They work with our developers day in and day out to make sure that we're optimizing the system for what the users currently need. Um, and you've seen as markets have shifted and things have changed, we're trying to update the system to account for 
you know, what current needs are. Uh, but with that in mind, so Stephen asked in the chat, is it possible to have a field that showcases a high cost flag in the pricing option? Um, I'm not exactly sure what that would look like, but Rocky or JP or either of you familiar with I, that? Not familiar with that specifically for a high cost flag. So you're high, talking about high like high cost. The... Good. So I want the high cost of the, uh, like a high cost of the loan itself. You know, like uh, the. I'm newer, so yeah, no, be sorry. mindful of that. But no, I know what you mean. Know, if if you have too many fees, right? Maybe yeah, too many yeah. points or whatnot. It's going to trigger. Like if you put, let's just take one of the lenders, UWM, for example, right? Sure. It's going to trigger, send you an email, right? When it is high cost, right? So what you're asking or just, is, yep. Or just, or just, just a, a high cost warning that pops up that says, you know, this is over high cost threshold. Right. So we recently added QM test. Uh, I think Nathan is probably on. So you can run this. It will do many tests and high price test is one of them. So it, it is, it will automatically, once you lock the loan, it is going to go and check and it'll exactly tell you what criteria is passing, not passing. It, it is still an estimate because we don't have access to right. exact data, but it'll give you Correct. a good good sense of you know where the loan is going at this point in time. So I'm, and this is another thing. So we released new features. QM test was a big feature we shipped a few months ago. And again, one of our goals is get more adoption in forums like this to educate our community and uh, join our Facebook group. If anyone has any questions like this, uh, we have, you know, 15,000 brokers who will almost answer that within seconds. How do I look at high cost or high price? Uh, some other checks were, were added. So, so, hey, okay, so, the co look, so the question is, where do you access that? Hey, oh, Steven. it is in the fee section. Go, go ahead. Yeah. So. Hey, Stephen, this is Nathan. I'm the compliance guy over to Ryan. Nathan. So this, sure. is, this is my wheelhouse. I thought I'd chime in. So I, I kind of like the idea. You're talking about like if you're, if you're over Section 35 and it's an HPML deal, so there's some different criteria, you want to have that in the pricing? Is that kind of what you're referring to? No, I just, well, I guess I just want to have it from the pricing perspective as I'm, I'm thrashing the, you know, you're evaluating the options for the customer, right? Yeah. In a split second, I want to be able to say, hey, look, somebody says, you know, hey, I'm going to buy down rate uh, down to a 5.0. I got one of those right now. And I just say, okay, gosh, you know, looking at the scenario, you're going to have to ask for closing costs of 10 plus or minus right. just because of whatever. I got good news for you. So if on the review fee screen, there's now, to Harish's point, there's now a QM fee section. There's a button on top. Hit the button. It'll tell you, are my discount points, are my discount points bona fide? Am I, am I over my HPML? Do I need to escrow? Just hit the button and it'll solve the rest of it. To Harish's point, sometimes these fees are estimates, but sure. it'll tell you at a glance, yeah, these discount points are going to work. This These fees are going to be over. I'm running into non-QM with this. Yeah, it's there. All right. So I can, I'll, I'll just quickly share my screen. I know we- And, and, and Vince, we cover these questions in Ask Arrive. Is that correct? Like we have employees who will talk about if I'm if I'm right. So you want to- In our Arrive Live Q&A, yeah. Arrive Live, yes. So. Yep. Yeah, so um, it, when you're in the pricing engine, you basically just have one additional step that you have to take. So it's not necessarily in the pricing that you're going to see that, Stephen. But once you apply a product, um, then you can jump into the review fee section. And that's what Nathan and Harish are talking about. So if, if you're looking at one, you're like, okay, this, this might work, but I just want to double check. Just apply it to the file. You can always reprice later. Like that's not some permanent sure. action. You're not locking in your rate, right? But then you can jump into review fees and you can run the QM test here and you get a lot of that information. So loan is floating. Okay, can, you go, can you go slower on that? Yeah, sorry. Um, right. So I applied the product in the products and pricing tab. And what that did is that opened up the review fees section, which is the next okay. tab. So in review fees up here at the top right, um, I mean, we failed the QM test, but it'll be a button that says uh, run QM test and you'll be able to run it and see, you know, so, HTML. Okay. So here's a thought. Just, just throw it out there for you. Okay. And I don't know if that would be possible. So it to have that, hey, there's a there's a QM problem that popped up or a warning, right? When you're looking at it from the uh, pricing sheet. Is that possible at all? You you basically want like a pop-up in the pricing tab for what those QM results are gonna find. No, I just want I just want I realize there's limited space, right? So right. what I'm saying is if there was a if there was a pop-up that said, Hey, I'm looking at the conforming, right? And I throw out that 
and I'm looking at the pricing piece, is there a way to just say, hey, there's a warning that there's some QM issues? Because then I can look further at the QM issues. Yeah, I don't know. I don't logistically. I don't know if that'll if that'll fly. If, there, if there's a way to to bake well, that. Well, even can I jump in there? So I yeah, see what you're absolutely. saying. Like, let's say you hovered over a rate, and it's telling you like this isn't going to work, right? I think that's what you're saying, right? Um, yeah. Even or, or the closing other, costs are high. Yeah. Oh yeah, no doubt. Like uh, it's hover. It's just even more efficient. Get it. Even in um, other lenders, or again, I'm just going to say UWM because I was just looking at a loan there uh, earlier. You still have to float a rate in UWM for them to tell you it's uh, it, it's failing, right? So I don't even think UWM has the capability to um, hover over like 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 we're saying. That would be awesome though. But I think you yeah, have to be able to float a rate for the system to actually read it and to tell you. That's just what I've seen. It would be nice though, but I don't know if it's if it's even capable. So J JP, you are correct. Like what you said, even from our system perspective, we run multiple tests together. Uh, you know, the, this being one of them. So for us to, and you can dial in the fees correctly when pricing runs, the fees are even more estimate. At, you know, you apply the product and then you can change the fees and then rerun the test many, many times. So if something is not working, you can then go and adjust, uh, uh, you know, on fees what Vince was showing and then maybe maybe see if the QM passes, if, if you will. So, but, but it's a good feedback. You know, again, I, I believe we looked at that long time back, but it is kind of difficult to uh, do this on the fly, if you will. Uh, but, 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 but this is something you can post on our Facebook group. I'm, I'm sure you'll get a lot more interaction. Parts and dialogue. Yep. We, you know what we do in the pricing engine on the same note is if you are looking at a rate that's going to take the DTI too high, like that will glow orange. That so we, glow. For that, we, we kind of do have some, some indicators. So we're trying to help out where we can with that because that's it's kind of the goal when you're shopping rates, right? Um, Alexander. Well, okay. So then from that perspective, could you make the closing fees glow orange? The closing fees? I mean, there's, I don't know if that's going to happen in the pricing screen. I think again, like, I think you just got to get into the review fees tab to start exploring because okay. that's, that's where we designed it to, to live. But well, uh, it's, it's, it's good feedback. I, we'll, we'll have to go back and check why we did not do it. There was some reason, but, it, but it's a good feedback. So thank you for that. So awesome. Uh, Alexander asked, are we going to get the recording from the zoom? So we are going to get this recording posted on our YouTube, um, I think that's the only place these live. Kelly's in charge of that. Kelly's not here today, but I'm pretty sure it just goes on the YouTube. So keep an eye on our YouTube channel. Uh, we have previous Broker Connect sessions, so it's worth checking out. Uh, and then this one, when uh, when Kelly's back on Monday, she'll, she'll fire it up onto YouTube for you. Awesome. All right, guys, what other questions do we have? We got two good engaged hosts that are ready to go. JP's hey, guys, really I good have a question. Theory. I have a question. Awesome. Uh, hey, Lee. Hey, Louis Murad here. I just signed on with you guys. I'm in Virginia, near DC, and I had a deal that had to close within five business days while the listing agent on it. So what I did, because I was onboarding and I'm building a team, I have two other loan officers working with me. I had them just transfer the application that was very, uh, that, that wasn't filled out completely at all into UWM and I completed everything with UWM. So my question to you guys is, is I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to go back and have my team do the full application and the full process through Arrive so you guys are good on this end as well too, right? So you're saying you sent an incomplete app to UWM and now it's being I, compl completed. I completed I completed it over there and I did everything yeah. over there and I and I disclosed documents at UWM. You want me to jump the... in here, Vince? Yeah, go yeah. ahead. Go for it. Go yeah, for it. Do it. Best yeah, yeah. So yeah, so you're moving so fast, you gotta find a lender, right? So you're pulling that that 3.4 file, whatever it is, right to the lender and you gotta rock, right? Disclose yep, there. Yep. You yep. completed it there, you gotta move, right? Yep. All you got to do in UWM is go and you can just pull that 3.4 file out okay. of there okay. and, and, put it, it, and put it right into put it Arrive. Back to Arrive. Perfect. That's what I'll yep. tell my assistant to do. Perfect. Thank yep. you, guys. So every time we close a loan, because things don't yes. transfer perfectly, right? My yep. operations yep. Uh, person, Lindsay, 
He yep. goes into the lender where we close the loan and pulls um, that 3.4 over and goes in and puts it back in and updates everything. Perfect. Thank you so yep. much for that. Man. Really, really that. simple. Yep. I appreciate that. Thank you, guys. No doubt. Awesome. Great question. Thanks, Louie. All right. Absolutely. What else, guys? Keep them coming. Let's see, There's gonna... no mobile app, correct? There's no mobile app. That is correct. It's all web-based. But all you do, if, if you have an iPhone, or I guess an Android, I have an iPhone, you can just make it a, uh, uh, it looks like an app, I don't know what it's called, on your phone, right? And so it works just like an app. And it and it's very, uh, it, it looks like an app. It's not like it looks like a web on your computer where it's all small and you have to jump around, you have to zoom in. Um, and that's what I primarily work off of. Like I was saying before, like I'm jumping on my phone, you know, doing estimates for people, I'm screen grabbing and just showing a payment. Like it, it's, it's. How did you it, do that? How did you do that? How did you do that on your phone? Because that's, I'm on the yep. go. My, my main work is on the that's phone. That's what as well. you got to do, baby. All right. So do you have an iPhone? I do have an iPhone. Yes. All right. So if you go, you can go to, um, arrive on your iPhone, go in Safari or Chrome, whatever you use. Right. Got it. Got it. Got it. And then I don't know the exact thing. Cause I kind of, kind of, I have to look at it. Let's see if I can, uh, wow. You buy the pool. Yeah. This is my house. Man. Oh, that <laughs> this, is where I, this is where I work during the summertime. Six All months right, out of well, the I'm year. The man. Golf course. We're doing the same thing. <laughs> All right, so, beast over here. So ready? So I'm looking at it yeah. right now. So you just go to arrive on, on Safari, right? Okay. You hit that little, um, share type button in the, in the middle. You know what I mean? Like if you were going to share something, to a text okay, or whatever okay. and then okay, you just okay. hit you hit um add the home screen it's really add simple home, add to home yep. screen got it got and it. then okay. it'll just be it'll become an app on your phone boom done okay. open it up sign got in do whatever you got to do i mean just me tell just me telling you that right now is gonna get you so much time back bro not dude not i playing. just I, I i need that because this is this is where i work on the most my desktop i barely use it barely use it that's what I'm saying. Yep. Thank you for that. I appreciate you, man. Yep. Maybe you, I, I don't know if Arrive has that, but maybe you could give some step-by-step -step directions on how to put it on your Android. Or You probably have it, I would think, but maybe something just super simple, you know? Yeah, got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Love that. Appreciate, appreciate you, buddy. Thank you. Yeah. Awesome. All right, guys. What other questions do we have? We've got we got a packed house in here. We got 61 people in here. So who wants to go next? Who's got the next question for our guys here? Another newbie question. Go ahead. When the application's filled out on the Rive side or the application's filled out on, let's say, the UWM side, I have to force the pull, correct? It's not an auto pull? Or I release it. JP, Rocky, other, you want to take it? Can you say that one more time? It broke up on me. Yeah, sure. So let's, no matter what platform, I, I'm going to pick on UWM. Remember what platform I put an application in, right? It doesn't auto pull, right? I have to forcibly pull it, push it. Are you talking about the 3.4 file? Is that what you're Correct. talking about? So uh, UWM is one of the only ones that doesn't have the auto export feature. Um, all the other, not all, but like, uh, let's say the loan store, Windsor, you can hit the button and register it there manually or, you know, and hit the button and it'll come back letting you know, Hey, this has been registered and you can click on the button. It'll automatically take you to their TPO portal, but UWM, you're going to have to export as a 3.4, go to their platform and, uh, import it into their system. So actually recently okay. UWM. They took a step in the right direction with the UWM portal. So now with yeah. the UWM portal, you can actually connect arrive to the UWM portal and you can now push your loans to UWM that way. So yeah, I chose not to connect anything from their side. I, I that's, yeah. That's fair. That's your choice. But just wanted to share some exciting news. If you do want to be able to just click a button and push the UWM loans over to UWM, it just requires that UWM portal integration. Um, and you can make that connection 
by getting the keys from your user settings. So you can just jump into your user settings, go to integrations, uh, and there you can generate keys to connect your Arrive account to UWM. And our colleague Lorinda posted, J JP, do you use that? Do, do you use UWM portal? Is there anybody in this group who wants to speak if they if they use UWM portal? I, I will say um, I, I tried it once. Um, I just don't do it anymore. I think it's it's just easier to pull a three point four out and just go upload it. I agree. It's the Here's same what I'll say about the UWM portal, and maybe an Arrive user can back me up on this. That's that's done it. Is you can actually get UWM to start updating information in your Arrive file if you if you're open to using the portal. Um, you can create a two way communication where now when there are updates from UWM, those can feed into the Arrive file, which a lot of people mm. really. Correct. That's also fairly new. Like UWM will update income assets as you or loan amounts. But is there any any arrive user using it in production? We we have yeah. I would love to have a real person telling that, not just me, the arrive employee. Anyone have a positive experience to the UWM portal? So Vince, I'm I just close to along with them, but the thing is, uh, uh, the integration was okay, but uh, as far as my documentations. Um, I had to do them yeah. manually and into UWM portal, but what I uploaded on Arrive and Arrive did not merge over. That's so, true. Documents, you're still, so when you push the 3.4 to UWM, that's strictly going to be the 10 or 3 data. That's not necessarily going to be um, the, the attached files. So the, the, the documents, the PDFs, you, you'll bring those over. Uh, and then Nizar asked in the chat, can we link Arrive with any lender or just UWM? So we have 17 integrated lenders now. Um, so if you look at our list of lenders, they're all going to be live in the pricing engine, either under your approved lenders, or if you're not signed up with them under your marketplace lenders. And so you don't have to create the connection with those other lenders. UWM, if you want the 3.4 import, they just have you go through the UWM portal and, and you do that connection yourself. But the other lenders, that connection's already baked in for you. I bet someone on our team is going to drop in the chat very soon a list of our lenders. So they'll just reply to your chat. I could try to lift them, list them off off the top of my head, but Harish is here. And if I mess that up, I'll be in a lot of trouble. So no, you <laughs> go, go to, go to arrive.com. So our website has listed them. They are in the portal. Also, when you're in arrive, you, you'll see a home button. If you click on that and there'll be a direct link to register with them. Oh. So not only we will show you the list, but you can click on the icon and it'll take you to sign up. And all these are cool new features we launched just a few months back. So. Nice. That was my question. Thank you for saying that. Awesome. All right. I have uh, someone shot me a question uh, to ask you guys, JP and Rocky. I guess we've been we've been talking a lot about being on the go, using Arrive mobily. Um, what what do you think has been the biggest game changer for you using Arrive on the go? What what feature of Arrive having that on the go has been the biggest impact for you? Ooh. Rocky or me? What do you want to do? Rocky, do you use do you use Arrive on your mobile device? I do, but I uh, I use it on the i my iPad. Oh, so. cool! Yeah, I mean that counts. Both if yeah. you both want to add like your favorite feature uh, when you're using Arrive on your tablet, your phone, just um, being able to access uh, everything and not having to get to a stationary computer, or my laptop, and it, it's just so awesome to be able to do that. If I need to check the qualifications of somebody or update something on their pre-approval oh. letter. It's, it's fantastic, man. Honestly, like, like Hussey said, it's given me back a lot of freedom to be able to enjoy a lot of the other finer things in life instead of, you know, this amazing job, by the way, this is such a great industry, but it kind of mm -hmm. makes you want to pull your hair out sometimes. So it's great. Yeah. You, yeah, said, it, you said it perfectly, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. You said it perfectly. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's it's for me, it's been such a breath of fresh air. Trust me, I was nervous as all hell. Oh, we're going to get out. Of, we're going to get off a lending pad, which I've been using for three, four years. Uh, and we like it. It's a decent interface. And we're going to flip all the way to arrive. And I have a whole company and a team. And it was nervous, right? We were nervous, but we did it right away. And it was it's just a breath of fresh air being in this industry for this long and 
being able to do this and and be on the go and and update things whenever I need to quickly um, is just big time for me. Now, listen, arrive. It's not going to, you still have to put in the work, right? You still got to put on the work. They're just making it easier for us. So a lot of my things are, I put in the work in the office, um, whatever, during the week, um, early in the morning, setting up files, doing what I have to do, get them set up. And then like we all know, you do a pre-approval, people are finding homes, right? And they're asking for numbers. I can just go in and change one or two things, right? And then I can just screenshot. I, I screenshot just the um, uh, the pity, right? The payment a lot because that's what they're looking for. Screenshot that, send it to them. They're good to go. It took me 30 seconds. It's not taking me two hours to type up a whole big email and do this. So use an Arrive to set up all your files in the office and then being able to update on the go has been huge for me. Great. It's great to hear, man. Thank you for saying that. Oh, yeah. It's not even close. All right. We got a couple questions now in the chat. Things are starting to pick up. Appreciate the questions, guys. Um, all right. So one question I got direct message to myself, is there a way to create a manual mortgage quote within Arrive? So I think what you mean by that is like a quote around manual lenders. Is that... If you want to clarify, feel free, but I, I'm going to interpret it that way. Rocky, JP, have you guys used manual lenders at all in Arrive? And, and have you created quotes around those? What's your experience with that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, like, you know, I've I've entered a, a couple lenders that are not signed up with you guys yet. Uh, you know, like Home Express, um, you know, and uh, done manual quotes that way as well. Absolutely. What does that look like? I mean, you're having to do everything manually. It's not pulling everything in automatically. Um, but that's the awesome thing you got about your guys' system. It, it at least gives us the tools to be able to log everything efficiently and and kind of take it from the beginning mm -hmm. to end. Honestly, it's perfect for my call reports. I'm able to log everything exactly what it should be. So, yeah. All right. Um, Taylor asks, where can I locate the login screen? on arrive.com from my phone. All right, Taylor, I'm I'm seeing a couple issues that you're going to have. First of all, make sure you spell arrive with one R. I don't know. I don't know what that, that link is going to lead to, but that's not our arrive.com. Uh, but you can find your landing page in your uh, user settings or actually you're in your company settings. So if you go into your company settings in that organization info tab, uh, your company URL is there. It's not everyone doesn't just go log in at arrive.com. Each company has its own mm -hmm. URL. So go into your company settings. You'll find the link there. Type that in on your phone and then follow those steps we talked about. You'll have the square on your phone screen and then you'll you'll be able to set it and forget it one time. Yep. Yeah, it is a different link. I remember I, I struggled with that right in the beginning, but once you have it, it's there. You're good to go. And I'll say the the arrive chat, right? If you have a quick question, like if you need that link, I'm sure you go right in the Arrive chat and they'll get back to you in like five minutes, right? Yes, sir. Boom, That's done. exactly right. Yeah, so if you hit up the chat, you just drop like your NMLS number into the chat and say, hey, can you send me my login link? Um, they'll hit you up. And you can just go to our support website. So if you go to Arrive.com and you're trying to log in, you can just click support up there and then you can start a chat with our team. They'll answer within like two minutes. And you can just say, hey, my NMLS number is this. Can you send me my login link and, and they'll hook you up in a matter of seconds. Guys, it's crazy fast. They're on top of it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely amazing. Awesome. That's good to hear. You guys have both had positive experience with the chat. I love to hear that. Amazing. Amazing, mm -hmm. man. I've even reached out to some employees. This is, uh, I think it was during like a holiday, had something uh, that went wrong and I reached out to Tara and um, number one, Tara is amazing, right? But she was willing to help me and take care of it on a holiday. She just, I, I can't say enough great things about Arrive. Uh, shout out to Tara. Awesome. Thank yeah, you. so I guess I'll just expand on that really quickly just for a second. So we have a couple layers of support so that you have options. Harish mentioned the Facebook group earlier. The Facebook group is like such an amazing tool that you should leverage. Uh, because it's like this call all the time. It's just a bunch of brokers on there that want to help each other out. Uh, you can go in there and you, can, you don't even have to post. You can just search 
I, I search the Facebook group sometimes when I need to figure something out for a user. Um, it's just a lot of dialogue, people talking best practices and arrive. So definitely check out our Facebook group, Arrive Mortgage Brokers. Um, Kelly probably would have wanted me to plug that in the beginning anyway. Uh, we just talked about the chat. The chat is the best way to get a quick answer. Uh, and, you know, they'll always, if they don't find the answer, they'll create a ticket for you and no ticket gets left behind. So as soon as a ticket's made, that's going to get escalated until it gets resolved. Um, if you just want to get, get straight to the point and uh, submit a ticket, you can email us at support at arrive.com. So I'll just drop the support email in uh, the chat support at arrive.com. We have a ticket system where based on the subject line and the keywords in the in your email, we're going to deliver that right to the subject matter expert that can help you out. Uh, and then we also have a phone line. So if you just need to talk to someone, um, we can't necessarily put all of our best, you know, like uh, support team members and developers on the phones all the time. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to keep working on improving the system. But we have a support team on the phone lines that can answer your questions. And they can also, you know, delegate and create tickets for you if you need further assistance as well. So please feel free to call us and it's 888-34-ARRIVE uh, is our support phone line. So there's layers to it. You know, depending on what kind of help you need, uh, you have options. All right. Sorry, I just had to plug some more. I love our support team, so I get carried away. Um, all right, any other questions in the chat that I've missed or... I don't have a question. I'm just chiming in here. If you don't mind, a couple of like good little things. What's going on? Uh, first off, I didn't know Jay was playing golf today. I really need him in here. <laughs> I'm struggling over here, getting filled with refis, and he left me hanging. No, I'm That's messing around. JP's brother here. Uh, one thing I just wanted to say, it feels like the theme is saving time, right, with a lot of this. One huge thing that I think we use all the time for new arrive users out there is the milestones have been huge. Those mm -hmm. milestones, like it saves us time from checking in with realtors, even with the clients. We have videos attached to all those milestones. So when we disclose, we click the button, it goes out, explains what we disclose. That's also a huge thing. Definitely look in the loan milestones if you're not using them already. And I suggest having a video or some message attached to all of them. I think that's been huge. It's a great idea. Nick, who did we use before with the videos and the milestones? I threw, I threw it in there. Flowify was the other yeah. one. So it was Flowify, right? So we had Lending Pad. Then we had to integrate Flowify into it. All right, whatever. Two decent programs. But now Arrive just has it all in one. Done. Have a good day, you know? Yeah. And all we do is take the same videos we use with Flowify and put it right in. You know? So that's what it was, Flowify. Yeah. So it's the same exact thing, Arrive. And talk to the Arrive chat, too. Like, they helped us set all that up because we had mm -hmm. issues kind of getting in there. But that's been huge. We barely, don't you think, Jay, barely talk to the realtors as much because they just get updates automatically when we mm -hmm. click a button, send them a video, hey, appraisal's Please. in. We disclose the loan. Mm -hmm. uh, we submitted the underwriting. We don't even have to check in with them anymore. And they're still getting the same kind of check-in, but it's all automated. What do you always say, Jay? Personalized yeah. automation, right? Personalized automation is the biggest thing, man. You can't be like a robot, right? But you can automate a lot of who you are to people and, and plug and play. Um, yeah, and, and you can just you can take a realtor out. You don't want them to, to know what's going on. You don't want the listing agent to know. With a click of a button, you just don't give them the update. You know, and then you're going to get more time to have higher quality conversations with your partners. And it's not the, oh, I'm just calling to let you know we have an approval or the appraisal's back. You know, oh, that's all well and good. Let's talk high quality. You saw the appraisal come in. How are we getting, uh, how are we going to deal with this situation over here now? How are we going to, you know, work on uh, doing more business together, right? You already see what we can do. That's easy. The loan stuff's easy, right? Let's go high quality now, right? It's going to make you step up your game. True. Love it. All right. I had another question sent to me. I want to ask you guys, JP, uh, Rocky, Nick, if you want to chime in as well. Uh, it depends on which one of you two is handling compliance. But someone wanted to ask about call reports in Arrive and what your experience has been with MCRs, your quarterly reports. Um, Changed my life. Changed my life. Tell us how you really feel. 
Jeez, honestly, you talk about buying back time. Oh, geez. It's it's just amazing. It it simplifies the whole process. Um, there's just a couple things that you need to stay on top of to make sure that it's not including uh, files that that didn't come to fruition into the list. But you know, making sure that certain dates are not um, like milestone to in there. But once that's done, boom, you just pull it in. Make sure you have a, a compare and contrast list that written down somewhere else. So that everything is good to go. Boom, you're good to go, man. Export it into NMLS. It's genius. Couldn't be more easier. Love that, JP or Nick, whichever one of you guys. Yeah. Well, I mean, Nick, when we started the company, remember we remember all the call reports? I had no idea what the hell was going on, right? Having yeah. to do it. But since then, we we have uh, hired a operations person, Lindsay, and she's the one that really runs the company, right? And uh, and she's it's it's given her so much more time back. Oh my god! So that now we can use her for real stuff, right? Like we all know the mortgage industry is a, most of it's a bunch of fluff. It's a bunch of BS. It's a bunch of stuff you don't really what really matters here, right? So when you can you can uh, really streamline all the stuff that it matters but can take a lot of time then that's going to free you up to go grow your business how you want to grow it i'm going to keep harping on that it's it's the efficiency there's nothing there's nothing like a rise out there yeah you should be guys it it sounds like a pain in the ass but you should be doing everything within the arrive ecosystem that's you know, updating things as the file progresses. The moment it closes, you should go back into the file and arrive and update it. Mm -hmm. It'll make your call report process so much more easier and efficient. Mm -hmm. um, just, it sounds tough. I get it. And you, and it sounds like you're trying to make your processor's life a, a pain in the ass, but nothing could be further from the truth. It'll make things so much yep. like, clearer later on, you know. Mm -hmm. And Arrive tries to facilitate that where like, as you move the loan along, we're like, oh, you're clear to close. That's awesome. When did that happen? And when did the last thing happen that you never told me about? So uh, Arrive is staying on top of it and kind of auditing you throughout the process um, to make sure, you know, even if you do miss a step, like we're going to catch up with you and be like, all right, just fill in these dates that you missed. No biggie. Um, mm -hmm. I couldn't agree more. Yeah, that's the only thing that pisses me off, right? I want to jump ahead to approved with conditions in, <laughs> in uh and they're making me tell me when the intent to proceed happened and when yeah. I disclosed. But you know what? <laughs> that that has to be tracked. Like it legitimately. So it tells me I got to go put in that date, which like Rocky's saying, just do it and then you're done. And that's why you, and you need that data. Love it. Awesome. All right, guys, what other questions? We got 10 more minutes with these two studs. I want to make the most of the time. What other questions do we have, guys? We got people joining the call now. I don't know how much you're going to gain at this point, but I'm letting them in. Nick, are you in the office? Are you working? You putting deals on or what? I'm trying, man. I'm trying. What did you shoot today? That's my question. What did JP shoot today? Oh, I, I honestly, I, I don't officially know. I played pretty well. All I know is we won the match. So that's all that matters to me. Me and my partner won the match. I think I won about 50 bucks. I'm in. Nice. Hey That's Nick, a get a bonus this year. Oh. Nick, Nick, can you say, "Oh no, Scoobs"? <laughs> oh no, Scoobs! Yeah, Shaggy, he got you. I'll send you my Halloween costume this year, Rock. Oh, so Nizara oh, dropped a good question in the chat. Can we get a heads up on birthdays, loan anniversaries, etc.? That would be cool. So. Uh, if you guys don't mind, I'll actually, I'll take this one really quickly. Sure. Uh, so we do have some help on that right now. So right now you can go to your dashboard anytime and we'll show you who's got a birthday this month, who's got a loan anniversary. So that is available. It's available information to you today. And then you could literally just click this button to copy the email. Take That's it. Make it show us your guns. And then, no burn, off, baby. and then fire off an email. Uh, and then what's coming down the line, um, and I don't want to get too excited and too ahead of myself because I don't exactly know when it's coming, but it's being worked on. It's in development right now. It's high priority item is drip campaign. So at some point, um, probably not this quarter, this quarter's come to an end uh, before you know it, geez Louise. But at some point, hopefully in Q4, uh, we're going to try to launch drip campaigns 
Um, and that's going to be around birthdays, loan anniversaries, things like that. Um, you know, the arrived CRM is something people talk about a lot. Like, are we going to have a built-in CRM? Since uh, day one. I think what you're going to see over the course of the next, you know, couple of years is we're not going to gatekeep features as our team creates features for you guys, like those loan anniversary drip campaigns. Um, we just want to get stuff out to you as quickly as we can. So you're going to kind of see a la carte features, CRM like features start to pop up over the next couple of years, but nice. like birthdays, loan anniversaries, that's high on the priority list. So that's cool. That's awesome. Looking forward to that. Yeah. In, in the past you had to, you had to plug and play. You needed four different companies. You need an LOS. You need a CRM. You needed this for, for this to do that. Arrive's just kind of doing it all all in one spot, which is what we've been asking for for 15 years. Everything but the lending. Everything but the lending. Awesome. All right, guys, any final questions for these guys? So I know we have a few minutes left. If not, you know, we had a great session. I'll go final call here. Okay, I, just, I did just get a chat, nice. Buzzer beater over here. Can dashboards show borrowers who might be able to take advantage? I'm guessing you mean of, of low rates. So um, the dashboard isn't going to be your resource for that necessarily, but JP or Rocky, do either of you guys have any experience with setting rate alerts? And do you, could you talk about your experience if you utilize that tool? I haven't really set rate alerts, and you can do that is what you're saying, Vince? Yeah. Oh, well, okay, sweet. I just, I go to Lindsay and I say, yo, anybody that's closed in the past year with a rate here, send me a report. She has it over to me in 30 seconds. So uh, maybe she's just trying to preserve her job <laughs> and not tell me about these rate alerts. Um, but I will look into that. But even if you don't use the rate alerts, you can pull a report in like 30 seconds. Yeah, that's good. Rocky, how about you? Have you used the rate alerts or are you using reports for? I for am using call? reports. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I use the reports. On yeah, so, you, I mean, you, you can set up reports and you can literally, you can create pipeline filters that say, like, you know, show me times that, you know, bars that close in this span or, like, rates of this range. Um, but what's really cool is you can go into the pricing engine. And here, I'll do, I'm, I try to limit the screen share. I, I like when we're just chatting as, as buds. But I'll show you guys really quickly. So I'll break my rule. If you go into pricing, and you can do this within a loan file too. I'm just quickly pulling up like a random scenario. Um, and then you price it out. You can, over here next to the apply button, it's kind of hidden, but it's it's here. So there's a sneaky little drop down next to the apply button. If you click this drop down, you can set a rate alert. And so how this works is it shows you right now, this is the rate. You can say, hey, let me know when this rate is this price, right? So this mm. is your target price. So I could say, let me know when this rate is par, right? That means when we hit that rate, it's going to send me an email. I have to associate it with a client. So I either need an existing loan or lead, or from here, I can actually, since I'm in the general pricing engine, I'm not in a file right now, I could create a loan or a lead from here. So I could just create a lead. Um, actually, it looks like, we added a feature. You can actually, you don't need a lead anymore. You just create the alert. So you'll put in their name and their email. You can put in their phone number as well. We're not going to email them. We want you to be the one that gets to reach out. But we're going to email you and say, this client's rate alert has been achieved. Um, and you can set it and forget it. You can set as many rate alerts as you'd like. You can also hone it down. Like I selected a specific product, but it's still going to look at all lenders when, when it comes to a rate alert, I don't care which lender hits the rate I need. Right. But you can also say like, you know, we wouldn't necessarily send it to this one lender. So I'll take, or like, I really only want it if it's one of these three lenders for whatever the case is. So you can pick and choose which lenders you want the rate alert to apply to, and then you can fire away. Awesome. That's that's great. That's wonderful. And I, I have to jump off, guys. Do, are you guys going to send us a recording of this? Because I know you guys are coming up with more information that I'm probably going to need. This this recording is going to go on our YouTube channel. I did drop the YouTube link in the chat. I'll drop it again. So it's like. Okay. Okay. I, yeah. I, took, I took pictures of the chat. Uh, awesome. Stuff. 
So and there's a bunch of previous sessions in the chat uh, in the on the YouTube channel too. So like any great, 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 great. And feel feel free to reach out if you have any questions, brother. We're yep, all right. same here. We'll do, we'll do, man. I'm just going crazy starting up this whole thing with with you guys, but I know I'm in the right place. Thank you all for everything that you guys passed on to me today. Thank all you. Right, Thanks for the participation. Thank you, everybody. I think this is probably a good time for us to pack it in. Uh, I want to ask one more question. Oh, oh, Stephen, you got one last question? Yeah, on that rate alert, can you have it just set that it sends out for your uh, partners what the rate is like at 8 o'clock in the morning? Uh, no, you can't set it up to be like a recurring like rate update, but that actually is on the dashboard. So you can actually go into your settings. All right, I'm sharing again. I'm really bad at not sharing my screen. I'm addicted to sharing my screen. So on the dashboard, you have this thing up in the top left corner, best rates. So you, what you can actually do is you can go into your settings and you can set up scenarios, pricing templates, okay? So I can set up like what my common client looks like, right? So like, you know, $500,000 purchase, 20% down, right? Set up the scenario, create the scenario, and then... Make me fill all the blanks. Anyway, I'm not going to do all that. But you create the scenario, you star it, and then it lives on your dashboard. And obviously, rates, you know, depending on the situation, rates are going to look different, obviously. So that's why you need to define what you want priced. And then we'll drop those rates right here at the top left of your dashboard for you. So you can get them at a glance anytime. But we can't Excellent. do what you described, which is just like blasting you a rate update email every day. We're not doing that just yet. Okay, cool. Awesome. All right. Thank you, everybody. I want to thank our hosts again. Thank you guys so much. Really appreciate you. Um, and thank you, everybody that came in and participated and listened. Uh, you guys, you make these sessions awesome. So uh, hope to see you guys again next time. Uh, and everybody have a great weekend.